Echo. You going under? I think we're, I think we're good. Hello everyone, welcome back to our playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are 14 hours and 15 minutes into this game, and, uh, and we are in Chapter 9, The Town That Never Sleeps, at Walmart, aka Wall Market, because uh, I thought they said Walmart at first. And we're going to dive back in. We're going to go to our manual save because, as you can see, some of the auto saves are like a full minute sometimes before where you actually were. And so we ran around the uh, Sector 6 slums. So now we've been through Sector 7, 5, and now Sector 6. And this area is like um, a lawless part of the sector that the, I guess, the government or the Shinra Corporation or someone decided to build a wall around it. Because they're like, look, you want to be lawless and enact crazy? Well, you're, you've spread too much for us to stop you. So now we're just going to encase you in this wall, um, in this part of town. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they put that together. And yeah, now they have this area where Tifa has been taken by this guy named Corneo, who's in charge of this place, this wall market. Apparently he's not a very nice guy. And so now as Aerith and Cloud, we are going to go in and try to rescue her. Oh, look at that. Hey, Sid, what's up? Welcome. You came just in time. Yeah, I didn't post about this on Instagram or anything, but I was like, oh, right when I started, I was like, I better message Sid, though, and at least let Sid know that we were going to get this going. So, uh, so thank you for being here, and thanks for this game, for people watching later on. This game, the only reason we're playing this game is because Sid donated it uh, to us. So big thank you, Sid, for being so awesome and generous and uh, giving us something to do during this quarantine and getting, giving us something to play. Uh, this game has been so much fun so far. And I'm, I'm liking some of the changes they've made, but also some things I noticed I'm like reacting to like, and I'm like, oh wow, it's because I don't remember it from the original one, but you know, some of the events and things that happen actually were in the original, but yet I'm still, like, um, late to the reaction to it. Or, like, or I'm, I'm reacting to it like it's my first time, because, like I said, I don't remember... I played this game maybe, like, two or three times I, I played through to beat it, and I just... I don't, know, I don't know. I didn't commit this story to memory, really. Um... Sorry, now that I realize this might not be a secret entrance to the, the place, I figured we can explore it. Maybe there's something back here worth grabbing. I don't have my um, camera on, and that's pure laziness, really, uh, because I didn't set it up yesterday. When I came over to start this up, I was like, eh, we'll just do it without the camera. Um, it's also hot in here, and I can't really have the air on. Um, oh. Because um, you guys will hear it, you know, you'll hear it over my voice and stuff, as we learned when we played Resident Evil 3. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, I don't have the, the AC on. I mean, I don't have the, the camera on, because uh, I don't want you guys just to watch me sweat my face off while I'm playing this. Which, uh, I've already started to sweat a little bit, because it is pretty hot today. But I have the fan in the bedroom going, at least, and it's kind of blowing some air out here. It helps circulate it, so check that out. Avalanche. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So there is something back here. There's this that door that we try to get into, but we can't. So uh, I guess we'll come back here eventually. There's also that door in the slums that needed like a special key. Actually, a, a key that looked a lot like this place. Because remember, inside there, there was a lot of, like, red boxes and stuff, and that very much reminds me of the design of the place we're about to go into. So I wonder if maybe somewhere in here we'll find the key to that Sector um, sector 5 slum area that we were unable to get into. 
All right, looks like we're going right to the front. I thought no way is the front door the way to go. Like I thought uh, there's gonna be a side entrance or there's gonna be something else, but. Oh, hi fellas. Oh my goodness, they have a gong. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. <clears throat> First time in Walmart. Kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the dumb's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute. Homely, but cute. Homely. Excuse you? <laughs> kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? This is gonna help uh, keep me awake, so big thank you. Oh, hey, you're no problem. Les, Thanks for hanging bad. out with us. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio, the only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam, and then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Wow. So nobody... <laughs> These guys don't think Aerith is hot, huh? Interesting. Um... Maybe they don't they don't go for that uh anime eccentric uh happy type. <laughs> yeah, she's a little too chipper at times, but I love that that was kind of that was kind of funny. She's like, Cloud, permission to kill? <laughs> and he's like, uh no, denied. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? Oh, but Johnny. To earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> That's, uh, I remember Johnny's the guy who was in the first act of the of the game right he was the one who almost spilled the beans on avalanche and i guess he has a thing for tiffa and he's trying to win her back uh or not win her back he i guess he never they were never together but um but it seems like he's trying to win her affection that's hilarious um all right so i know where the honeybee inn is i think there's a uh, sam is yeah back there okay Oh, they're good. They had the map marks it. Uh, yeah, and then there's a uh, Madam W. And yeah, right. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll start over here, and we'll go in a reverse circle. Okay. Can I just pass Sam? What no, he's over thinking? here. Stupid, stupid, stupid. There he is. You two again. Told you one hey, hey, Cunning! What up, dude? How are ya? Good when to have ya. Subverting you expectations, and I'm not singing your song. Take that, buddy. Seek, we need to get you some loyalty badges as well as a tier one emote. Really? Do we? Do, do I have... Am I eligible for that? or? I, I don't even know what my standings is anymore with uh, Twitch. Um, hmm. You want in now? No Loyalty kidding. badges and a Hardy and a tier it. one emote. Okay. This in the bag. I'll have to figure it out. I mean, so sure I do plan to keep know. playing video like games, me. but uh, I, I like right now we're going through a big, sure you know, do. spike because this was donated to us. Um, but the games we play after this, you know, I'll, I'll probably take my time with. So I don't know how much I'll be on PlayStation, especially during the month of May, because of uh, I'm writing my I'm working on my book still. 
Um, you got a tier two and three, just no tier that's one. Right. Oh, that's right. That's true. Yes, um, hmm. That's right. I think that's it's been like that for a while. I think. Um, let's see. Let's go with uh, tails. This is totally the Aladdin theme song. Ed, you lose. Dang. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just a meal. Dang. I should have went with the heads. Uh, you ever think about streaming creative sessions? We would be sure to be down to hang with you virtually while you pound a, a way at a book. Um. Ah, dang. Trick coin. Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And yet I still chose That's tails. That's market way. <laughs> Lesson learned. Still um, yeah, the graphics are amazing in this game. Um, yeah, so the creative stream, uh, yeah, I probably could because I, I, my um, camera on my computer is a little bit better than what I had before, so it, I, I probably could actually. Um, I don't know. Well, well, I haven't really given that much thought. Um, creative streams. Are not my. Th it's different when you're writing. I feel. I've seen a couple streams where people do that, where they're like, "Hey, I'm gonna pound out this chapter, this book, or something." It was so boring to watch, to be honest with you. Like, uh, it just really was. Um, I didn't find myself in enjoying someone sitting there thinking out loud, and that's also not my process. Right? When I'm like writing, actually, the only thing I do out loud is I might sing, and I, I, I might. Um, talk to Echo sometimes, but I don't know, it's it's hard to explain. I, I don't know if it would be an engage it wouldn't be a very engaging um, stream because I, I don't know how often I would go look at the audience and, and talk to them. And plus you've seen me in streams. I want to read every comment sometimes. And so I feel like it's a distraction. I, got, I feel like I won't get um, any of the actual writing done. So I've I've gone back and forth over it before and uh, and thought about it, but uh, I guess if I was drawing something, that'd be different. I think I, I could probably do better because my eyes would need a break from um, the drawing, so I would I would look at the chat more, uh, but still try to get stuff done. But writing wise, I don't think so. Yeah, drawing I feel like I could be more engaging with. I could balance it better. Um, but writing, I don't think I could. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. That's true. God, we're all comfortable with being so brutally honest with each other. Wow. <laughs> Wait, she has a bee costume too? Oh, that makes sense. It's the honey bee. Hey. Duh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. Uh, have you heard from John or Russ recently? How are you holding up right now? Um, you desire? Uh, I haven't heard from them, no. Uh, I guess um, we decided it would be best if we're not friends anymore. Um, so I haven't I haven't talked to them since uh, since that. Um, so yeah, so I, I have, sorry, sadly I have not heard from them. And the but I hope they're doing well. Three years from now. Uh, and I'm doing okay. I, Echo and I are settling in. Uh, or settled in, actually. We're, we're doing good. Um, I need his you can go outside. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, I, uh, unfortunately, I said Echo's name right when he was about to go outside. and Because I have a porch and he was going to go hang out on it. Now he's too scared to. It's okay, buddy. I'm sorry. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well. Let's try someone else. Okay. Oh, I wonder if my honey girl got the flower bouquet. 
I guess we'll go try that third one. What? Johnny! <laughs> he got rejected. Desire. Say what? Oh. Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Glover. Say another word <laughs> and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Jeez. Oh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Jeez. Yeah, this is a weird cutscene. <laughs> it's the the tone shifts dramatically in some of these scenes. Cloud strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Well, I mean, I do got a cool sword. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? What? Uh... Dude, we'll go luxury. <laughs> Then make your way to the room in the back. And Screw it. Cloud? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. But I feel like if we cheapskate this, she's not going to help us. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every... And plus, the longer the massage, the more... Because clearly she has like, some infatuation with our hands. So, uh, the longer, we, the more we spend, um, the longer she'll spend on the hand, and maybe she'll grant us, I don't know, whatever. Maybe she's like, oh, thanks for letting me play with your hands for an hour. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. I just think it, it's better not to be cheap in this instance. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation. Get that blood flowing. She was just massaging his hand, right? Oh, don't fight it. <laughs> well, the, the way the camera's, like... Finally, some gentle stimulation. Ah, uh, whatever. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Maybe this. None of these are triggering his, like, memory bursts. Was was that scene a metaphor? <laughs> if that was to your liking, do come again. We paid three thousand dollars for that. Maybe I did overpay. How was it? Huh? Oh, I'm Aerith? Yeah. Holy shit. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Well, I, I got a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Thanks for the tremendous setup for that joke game. Everything I need to see. What does that mean? Tell me what you want. Take it from there. Yay! You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? You didn't but even let her answer. You not go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? Um, I, there's no good answer here. <laughs> it's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. Ooh. So long as you can afford it. How oh, much? We just spent... What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen. Um, I have an idea. new wardrobe change was coming. Ah, uh, yeah. There's an underground for more than one time. character. Up for a fight club? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, ah. what do you say? <laughs> so, so we fight to pay her what I like to, hear. to give us makeovers. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Okay. Um, what yeah, have we it's... gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. What have we gotten ourselves into? Fair fight in this town. Huh? Think we um, all? Well, what we got ourselves into sure. was a tournament where I'm going to fight my little heart out. So that way, if, when I win, um, I get to dress up as a girl and uh, help you get into Don Corneo's place. I think we gotta go this way. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be right over there. Oh, I was mistaken. So we're, I was I was gonna run in the right direction, but I thought we were gonna go underground. I thought we were gonna run around the side of that building. But no, these doors are open now. So now we can do our thing. That's funny. This looks like a an entrance to like a, a Disney ride or attraction. What are you? Everybody knows I've got the best Coliseum souvenirs around. And when I'm open for business, should have just traded Tiffus raided Tiffus closet. Yeah, we should have. I'm waiting for a shipment of fresh stock, but be sure to swing by on your way. Out. Okay, dude. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. Alright, she's growing on me. All right. <laughs> Not that I already didn't like Aerith, but uh, as far as like, um, you know, like a, a love interest for Cloud, like she's, she, she speaks his language. She's pretty awesome. Because I, I, you know, we earlier so, I was saying how like Tiffa kind of speaks Cloud language. She's kind of like a woman of action, and Aerith is fighting. isn't like she's not defenseless, but she's not really a person hey, of action. But nervous, she's you? becoming one, which is awesome. And you yeah, find out that the kind of action she does take usual. part in, Just like usually help focus. people. So she's like bringing people sure. flowers. Like so she is a person of action, but not like a combatant. But yet, when push comes to shove, she's like, hey, I don't want you to fight my battles for me. I can hey. fight too. That's pretty Come awesome. Right 
Oh. In the city that never sleeps, in the paradox of debauchery, it's in the pain and pleasure. Every desire and scotch. For you, a teen connoisseur of the past and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness. Hi, buddy. Do you like it out there? Oh, it's Numb Nuts who wouldn't let us in. <laughs> I love these guys. They did a great job uh, at making them come across like uh, WWE announcers or something. Is really something that was a great intro actually <laughs> that's really you good too. wait here until it's time hi handsome oh you want to just chew on this go ahead chew on your bum lay down oh good a bench good because i want to step Sorry, yeah, Echo came over. He, he, I gave him a like this bone like two days ago, and he's never taken one bite of it. And now he's all into it. Got mega potions, bruh. Let's buy. Oh, we can only buy one. Okay, fair enough. We'll take it. Ether, Phoenix down. Nah, I don't need those. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, titanium bangles. They cost, oh, I have three of them. I need to start equipping some cool shit. Uh, let's do it. Um, upgrade weapons, no. Titanium bangle. Boom. Oh, wow, I got another sword. Where the f did that come from? Okay. We're going to level it up, too, in one second here. Boom. And then we'll put that fire one back on there because he has wind, ice, fire, lightning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I feel like I'm. Oh, let's keep using deadly dodge. I was gonna switch. Uh, I was gonna put assess on him again, but I feel like. Uh, I I feel like assess. Well, we maxed it out. So, and we don't really need to do that anymore for uh, Chadley, apparently, so. That brings her magic defense up, but it lowers her regular defense. And that does the opposite of what I just said. Yikes. Yeah, no, she's good the way she is. Maybe we can throw one of these on her, though. Gave that to Cloud though. I know I meant to buy the. I bought those for Tifa, so we'll probably give them to her later. But I kind of. Ex I thought we were gonna have Tifa back on our team by now, so. Uh, so it might just end up being a Cloud item. I don't know. We'll find a way. We'll, we'll maybe we'll buy a second one later. And we'll give it to Tifa. I don't want to give her like. I know we have two extra. <laughs> uh, materia here, but I kind of don't want to give it to her because. I'm afraid of what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll give her Fat Chocobo. Whatever. We might need it. Who knows what this tournament's going to 
have in store for us. All right, last thing I gotta do, upgrade this new weapon from Cloud. So each of these cost eight. All right, so we have attack power, boom. Magic attack power. What? Another attack power? Can do it. And here we have aerial attack damage. You can get three of these. Punisher mode strong attack damage. Crippling damage. Let's do Punisher. We can do two of these. Attack power, attack power, magic attack power. Stagger. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. That's nice. Let's do it. Let's add some attack power. Cool, look at that sword. It's pretty cool looking. All right. Can we go now? What's up with you? Oh, it's Johnny. Oh, he, he got his ass kicked. Coach, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries, and well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Uh-oh. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Okay. I mean, Johnny's not... You're in way too like, deep to back out now. He's not a fighter, right? So... I, I don't care. <laughs> he got screwed up. Like, that doesn't make me... Feel sad. What's that? It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it. And they say you'll be rare and to go for hours on end. Oh Jesus, Johnny. Had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. I'm not gonna do that because remember, we saw a lot of people in town sick. Like, uh, they weren't feeling well. I wonder if I, I, I thought it was from the food maybe, but maybe it's people Get who entered this ready? tournament drank that stuff and uh, come on, hurry it up, and got uh, you know got sick. I don't know. Is there another door to enter? There's not. Okay, I thought there was one more Get door. Sorry. Ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. Ah, don't worry about us. I'm nuts. Rhinestone cowboy wannabe. Nobody noticed my eyes or costume that I could be a soldier. People suck. Okay. Now I'm mad. Zero. What if Wall Market's own? I'm right now a master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challenges before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The sanguine stalkers. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna kill your dogs, and then I'm gonna fight you man to man, bitch.
Ooh, you've been staggered, bruh. Nice. Oh, we did the hero poses and got the music and everything. That's right. Good night, everybody. What are you clapping at? Hop along. Well, that's one win down. Go team. Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. There's yeah, no true. rules. But maybe it'll be better in the next match. Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. All right, dude. I'm gonna knock that fucking vest off you. Johnny's still in here? Well, that was some bullshit. Oh no, it was the it's the Beastmaster. <laughs> this is where losers go, huh? Start looking for a new job. Cloud and Aaron. Your match will begin shortly. Let's go uh Please make your way to the gate. Echo. Let's go sit on the bench. I mean, I don't know, we have enough health. We're we're fine. Famous last words, I know. But uh, I'm, we, I think we, we each took like That's a couple, like a, maybe a hundred or two hundred hit the next match um, of damage. So Ready to rock? I think I'll be all right. Just remember, try not semifinals. To oh wow, okay. So only three matches. Typical video game rules in threes. For the second match in a spectacular semifinal, fresh from the first day with death, I present the Lucky Couple. <laughs> Give it up once again for the guy's heckling us from the announcing area. Echo, you okay? That's cool, buddy. Oh no, not Beck and his buddies. These guys again? They're gonna be easier than the first fight. Yeah, you're gonna maybe bring out like five more guys. <laughs> huh? I guess when I summon Ifrit, you guys will be cool with that then. Take out that guy with the uh. So it's my turn? You'll see. There we go. I 
And we were able to unlock that other uh, um, refocus for Chadley, which is awesome. Somehow. Once again, Cloud and Aaron. Contenders, please return to your waiting room. <laughs> is everyone just pissed off at us or what? That kid really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. Oh, jeez. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace. Maybe I'll land in your parlor. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. Oh. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! Jeez. Oh, right. I think that's the guy who's gonna, who's gonna dress yeah. Cloud up. I thought you'd be happier. That's the guy who runs the Honey Bee Inn who wouldn't see us. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. I mean, probably. What the? F What's all that? Not bad, not bad. What's up, boys? Does this mean I don't got to play dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. Yeah, well, if you try to recruit us, I'll cut your head off. So hungry. You, I feel bad for. I want to give you a sandwich. I wish I could. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? <laughs> Nobody cares what you think, gatekeeper. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Oh, now you're gambling on us? Well. How about we win it for us and we come out and kick your butt and take half the money you've earned from betting on us? I'm curious to see what the final fight's gonna be. Oh, they're finally naming us. That's nice. Yeah! Come on now! Come on! 
Catch and scratch. Great. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just straight up robots. <laughs> More like cheating. Wow. Who will walk away with the one million bill prize? So lightning Get works on them. Sam, seriously, you sent robots? Ow, oh, okay. Yeah, that robot sucks. Already down. Are we all? Are we seriously done? That was the fight. <laughs> Where's that dumb numb nuts cowboy? <laughs> oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on the toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. Oh, you know of course. They went out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that uh. that's over, we can go save Deepa. Apparently so not. Back to Madam Ims. Get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! <laughs> you greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit, Mr. Yanko! <laughs> That's a lot of swearing in this game. It's bringing it out of me, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. Who cares? I was good, because good, I was hoping those two simple robots weren't. Like the 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 top, because I thought that was pretty pathetic. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Whose dress? Um, battle intel. So we completed that one. We got to stagger three other different types of enemies, and then increase stagger damage bonus to two hundred percent. I don't know how we do that. Um, all right. I doubt there's gonna be robots in here, so <laughs> Sam's in here though. Well then, you sure fixed my wagon. Sure did. That's what you get for cheating us with your stupid coin, Harvey Dent.
Who's clapping? Oh, it's this nerd. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Okie dokie. I think we we probably should have used the bench. Has been a but oh well. No other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. <laughs> Alright. What the fuck? Oh <laughs> wait, wait. What? Is the house alive? It's just a house. It is. Oh jeez. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've never seen a fight like this. No. Okay, that this is a great cap to this tournament. I didn't see that coming. A giant evil house. <laughs> All right. So if it's a hell house, then probably blizzard. We'll probably work on it. Nope. Didn't do too much damage. Let's try, uh... Arrow. Nope. I mean, it hurts it, but it doesn't, like... Where the Oh good, we staggered it. Let's try thunder. Thunder! Get the thunder! Its little legs are cute. <laughs> no. Not yet. This guy. Yeah, that's the honeybee dude. He got his eye on Cloud for sure. What's happening? Oh, those little legs! Whoa! Jeez! <laughs> Ow! Staggered. And now we're gonna summon. You know what? We're gonna summon Fat Chocobo just to make this battle fun here. <laughs> Plus, I don't know if Efrit would really do the trick. It shoots fire, and this thing looks like it's made of. It was made of fire. But this is funnier. Hey, house, meet my Chocobo that's the size of a house. Oh, 
Oh, I missed completely. Awesome. Oh, it has lightning in it too? What? And it has a new arm. That was the bombs away thing. Dang, there's like no way to... I mean, I'm sure there's a way to dodge that, but... Do anything? Oh, it did. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, still haven't seen anything yet. This fight is only just heating up. Time for Come on! Oh, well, and with a stunning reverse! The Hell House is out of the water! This one's for you! Now that is the price you pay for daring to get in the way of true love! Give up. God house mode? Calling night. We gotta get that right on. Gone. Whoa! Aerith! Did he just suck Aerith in? Shoot. <laughs> Lego should make a set for Hell House. <laughs> I don't know if they could because of the name, but uh, that'd be funny. That's awesome. Oh good, she successfully poisoned it, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, there it is. It, I was right in front of it. <laughs> well played, Hoss. There we go. There goes your arm, son. It's gonna die because they're poisoned it. <laughs> Thanks, Aerith. Got to get up later for work. Hey, Kitty, what's up? I'm not going to say, just want to say hi before I went back to bed. Hey, no problem. Thanks for popping in and get some sleep. And, and thanks again for doing what you do. I guess, you know, people don't know, Kitty's a nurse. And so she's dealing with uh, this pandemic head on. So uh, thank you for doing what you do, Kitty. Get some rest, definitely. And we'll catch you on the next train, for sure. Be safe out there, definitely. So thank you. All right. At least you came in to see our victory. Nice. High five them and everything. And champions, and <laughs> hey, no problem. You're welcome, Katie. Thank you. We're just in here playing video games. You're you're doing what you're doing, so thank you. Awfully rare you showing an interest in something. What do you do? <laughs> this guy's on the prowl, dude. This guy got any merch for us? With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection. Fuzzy Wuzzy and Mr. Cuddlesworth? Oh, they're they're ha, they're explosives. Uh, you know what? I'll buy three of these, and I'll buy two of these. Thanks, dude. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So, Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Uh, yeah, actually. Head to the when you want to fight, head to the basement and talk to the staff. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are slightly restored after each fight. Items cannot be stolen from your opponents. Okay. Neat. Yeah, that's something we'll look into. Congratulations on the win. You know, tonight's tournament is going down in history. Watching you win was so inspiring. It made me want to fight too. Cool. Aerith, you were amazing. There's never been a female champion before. Hey, Aerith, look at you. Breaking down walls. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Let's go see Chabby. I have to 
tell you that I'm grateful for all of your comments. I've done it. I've developed a new material. What you got, kid? ATB assist. All right. What VR missions? Oh, I was hoping you'd have a new one by now. That fat chocobo was awesome. I'm glad we got to have that battle of the house. That was kind of fun. Although I didn't really do much with it. I, I drained its time, unfortunately, but it was just fun to see it in there. Um... Oh, can we, um, can we go down these alleys now? Like, are those, are those scumbags still blocking us from getting those, uh, those secret items? I was hoping it would sit on the house. I know, if I, if I was better at the game, I probably could have done that. <laughs> Aren't you a curious cat? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pack. You fucking will give me a pass. Move out of my way. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? Yeah, okay. Which way are you gonna go so I can walk by? Okay. I said deal with it. Okay, they're not gonna move. These guys still. I guess you can't do this yet. Oh, here we go. Aladdin. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering splendor. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. Thanks. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. And what goes around comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna help Aerith or what? Hey, thank you. You've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw dropper. Great. All right. Now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? Um. Yeah. Are we supposed to leave town? Now she's got me scared. Is there something I gotta go explore? Uh, I think we're good. All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> So I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Yeah, does. Well, th does she I'll not? See you later, I, like, <laughs> she's It'll not ugly, up. like. <laughs> and uh, and Madam M isn't that glamorous, so I don't know. I'm a simple guy. What do I know? All right.
Look at this hippie. See the sign out front? All I got is material. Yeah, no, I know. That's why I came here, you idiot. Thanks, buddy. You thanked me again for buying nothing from you. You're a proper weirdo, dude. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll go talk to Sam. Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kid, if I know the madam. I do. This was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, I can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you oh, say? Oh, cool. He's got side quests. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Burke. Burning thighs? What does this have mean? Okay. Let's go uh, do these side quests. But which, what do I have left for, uh, what's his face? So I gotta stagger two more enemies and increase my stagger 200%. particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. Oh, is he the drunk in the bar across the street? Yes, it is. <laughs> Remember, we met him earlier, and I was like, I wonder if he'll be a side mission. And look at that, he is a side mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this guy. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Dude, I don't need your help. <laughs> it's mostly the same folks every night, so... Well, yeah, but he's right over here. Hey, old dude. Good morning. Hey, stupid unicycle. What's up, dude? Is that you? Did you always look so moronic? <laughs> right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back. Not ever. My life is ruined. It's over. Kill me now. Just woke up. Oh man, nice. Like that, old dude. Um, good. Good to get some extra sleep in. I have um. I don't know if you saw my Instagram post, but I'm running behind on posting my uh, posting my episode 500, so it's it's almost done rendering. It looks like maybe in about five ten minutes, and then I can upload it to YouTube, and that'll probably take uh, like an hour to upload. It's a 40 minute episode, <laughs> so uh, so yeah. Hopefully, people enjoy it. I mean, I did my best. I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? <laughs> uh, well, it's a milestone, so that sounds about right. Yeah, I, you know. Um, I didn't. I, I still didn't plan for the episode to be that long, but yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody. It meant a lot that we got uh, 
that we got this far. So yeah, it's uh, definitely hit me. Um, you know, to yeah, and I ended up adding something to the episode too. I, originally, I didn't have uh, something in there from Lego because I was like, ah, oh, you know, I should give the Lego people I worked with a shout out. And originally, I didn't have anything in there for Lego, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll add in this like two minute thing, and then I talked about them a little bit. So there's a couple things I added to the episode to kind of lengthen it up. Hey, wait for me! So this is it, huh? I guess now I can't turn all my Sony notifications off. <laughs> why, uh, why is that? I mean, I doubt we're going to get any, um, you know, Venom news for a while, probably. That thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh, oh, jeez. I need you to go and give me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Man, all this just to get one drunk. Again, I know, right? Looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But oh, can turn. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, the way this sometimes it cuts words off in mid letters, like uh, so it, it, it looks like it says can't, but I got you. Can turn. You can turn them off. Yeah, you're right. You probably can for a while. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise, like grab it. Yeah, the text is weird. Yeah, it just kind of. Most of the time, I can figure it out, but sometimes when it Wait, to, to use assets to find the secret buttons? Um, okay. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Now, uh, yeah, sometimes I can figure out what the text is saying, but in some cases it accidentally corrects something. Um, I don't know. And Come makes on, it look bro. like an actual word. This is the sauce. Neato. It, it's time. The last button. Uh -oh. How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm good. The sauce. We got the sauce. Right away. Um, before someone sees you. No one can know that we have it. You're the grand prize winner. Uh oh. Have a special prize. <laughs> a Moogle me medal. Like Yay. Whatever. We got what we came here for. Let's get out of here and head to the material. Um, yeah, Sid's in here. Uh, Kitty Money was in here, but she had to go. She's uh, working today, um, saving people's lives, being a nurse. So, uh, so she had to take off, and then we had um, OK Cunning came in for a few minutes, um, and I think he, he's either lurking or he's on, uh, he might have pieced out up. too. But. Um, <laughs> Sid's trying to stay awake. Yeah, and this and this is another episode of, of side quests. So it's it's uh, but we're trying to progress the plot the best we can so that way we try to keep her awake. We're getting to a, a part that is pretty infamous or famous uh, in the uh, in the Final Fantasy VII um, storyline, which is uh, cloud uh, cross dressing. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro. <laughs> that's why you're such an awesome dude. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Oh, you dick. Not here. It's long. Shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. You're crotcheting too? Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. 
Well, that's that. Hey, if you're done here, then get that's going on. Next, huh? Yeah, thanks for nothing, dude. Thanks for prolonging this thing longer than it needs to be. Where do we go? Wait, parting ways. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, no, we're, we're good. There's that restaurant. This is the guy who offered me the special before. This is where I thought everybody was getting sick from. Welcome. Feel free to take any open. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. <laughs> for some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. No, I know it. <laughs> I know you said crochet. <laughs> I was waiting. I was actually like, I'm going to call it crocheting and see, see uh, what, her, uh, what her reaction is to that. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. Um, yes, crocheting. The problem is, give advice based on your strongest magic materia. I mean, they're all level. I've got it. The problem is, the heat's not high enough. Oh? Know a little something about fire, do you? Okay, then. Let me try turning it on to see. Touche. Hey, you're cool. Well, would you I'm here to that? get up and uh, hang out with my cat. There. Nice. Get up. Nice, Man, nice. Man, this looks great. Dang, Johnny. See? Look at that! Holy cow, I called it! He seemed to be enjoying the meal, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thank Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy's drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Hey, about that thing we're looking for. Maybe I should fine tune the flavor more. Give it something extra. Now, what did I do with those spices I ordered from Wu Tai? That should help Johnny first. Dang it. What's up? Can't stick around the chat is going to play Fallout 4 now, what but take it easy. Hey, thanks for popping in. I, I added you to my auto host list and I, and I put you up near the top. Uh, you and Lonely, I added you both. So hopefully uh, that'll send you guys some love today too. Hey, wow, thanks. What? You did? Hey, thank you for that. Um, thank you, Mira. Yo, I'm, I will have to return that favor. Thank you, Mira. I appreciate it. You're well, Military enjoy Fallout, and we'll we'll catch up with you later. You I, I, I gotta win Final Fantasy VII now. Okay. Well, I'm about you're, I'm about to dress up in drag actually, uh, but uh, it'll probably I mean it, not right now. I mean it'll probably be like another hour of playing. So probably in the next episode, which we'll play later tonight. But yeah, Cloud is gonna dress up in drag. The higher level your cleansing material is, the more you'll uh, the more help you'll be. I I did not power up my cleansing material. You're a so. life saver, literally. Later, so, later. Let me see. What needs delivery? <laughs> Need you to deliver this. No, stuff. don't spend money. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> um, sure you no problem. Oh, well, I, uh, yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll talk later. Uh, yeah, I'm used to most chats being spammed with uh, emojis or like.
poggers or something like that, but this one is actually talking with friends. Uh, yeah, we, we had a time there where it was, we had a, a pretty decent group in here. Um, I'd say maybe ones in the shops nearby. And we had that, we had that for a time, and we did have some emojis and, and emotes and stuff at one point. Back when I like played games, you know, like 30, 40 hours a week, this is the most gaming I've done, you know, in a long time, actually. And typically, I, lately, I haven't even been, the last like, few games i played, I haven't even finished. So, um, all right, so I know where there's some sick people. There's one down here in the alley that I just ran past like an idiot. We're chill here. Yeah, we chill, man. FF7 and chill, bruh. So this guy's sick. Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. You make one move towards me, I'll stab you with my sword. Sorry, can't help you. Okay. So not that one, huh? There's the dude in the bathroom who's throwing up. We can go see him, he's at the bar. Wait, there's this guy too. Yeah, we like it here too, man. We like you being here too. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. We're cool though. Just blowing off work is all. All right, so he's not sick. I thought there was like a like a dude that's just hanging out in an alley, all by himself. He's like leaning. I can't remember. This guy. Is he sick? Your honor, that rotten putrid smell. I'm so rude. Uh, I don't know who you are. But sorry, can't help you. Okay. So maybe it is the dude in the bathroom or the guy outside the bathroom who wants to go into the bathroom. Oh, it is these guys. Look at that. If I would have just checked the map, I would have come straight here. So it's not him. It's the dude in here puking his brains out. It was poison, I tell you. The sick son of a bitch puts poison in his... I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here. It's not much, but it's yours. No. I'm grateful for your help, but do you think a guy could get a little privacy? <laughs> Should probably head back. Quit hogging the bathroom! This is an emergency! This is one long ass quest, man. We got three more stops on it. <laughs> before we complete it. Jeez. The other quest was only two. Um, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, we're going to go see Johnny. Is he? He's fine. Your friend fought a house. I want a little chime when I take my meds. I know, right? Just set one on your phone, and then every time you take one, just hit play. How did deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. Great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here. What is it? Well, along to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from oh. New York that you boys been running all over town looking for this. 
Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? <laughs> Johnny. Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo. You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way. Back. Be back, gotta do some things. Hey, that's okay. And vague. Right. Awesome. Have fun doing your things. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession. And now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're not having it is going to do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Yeah, but it'll cheer. What's his name up? Honey... I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! <laughs> So his inspiration was uh, VIP access. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! I gotta know. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. <laughs> Johnny's so happy. Hey, old dude, we're back. Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! <laughs> Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is! And it was hard won! I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after! A honeybee in VIP card! <laughs> I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys! I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead wow. the way, old dude. We are coming. <laughs> John. All right, let's go complete this mission. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. I can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Turbo Ether. Get ready for a real Walmart in education. I'm done with this. You? I get it, bro. You're scared. <laughs> it's only natural for people to fear the unknown. It's a building full of women dancing. What do you mean the unknown? Us, but I swear to you, bro. <laughs> Is John, Johnny in love with Tifa? Johnny's in love with women. I'm gonna go in there and um, get as much inspiration Yeah, he has a thing for Tifa, but he's right now he wants to just go into the VIP lounge of a of a you know of the of the place where all the girls dance. <laughs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. All right, everything's fully restored. Cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think he's, he wants to go to Honey Bee Inn because it has girls there, but also it is kind of a means to an end to get to Tifa. But at the same time, he's also like, hey, yeah, we'll save Tifa, but I can flirt with girls along the way. Thanks for coming. And welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. All right, Jules. If you got some time to spare. How about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? Oh, I was hoping this was going to be a You're fight area. Serious, nice. Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. Like a I am scrawny looking. Away. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Yeah. Burning thighs, let's do this. You up for a round? Challenge Ronnie. Yes. Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. Where'd you get your oh, insults? A cereal man. box, bruh? We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Nah. Let's I remember this, I think, in the get. original game, when you had to, like, do, we had to time our exercises. Ready to do this? Yeah, this is funny. Um, okay. So that's what we got to do. Perform more squats than your opponent in the allotted time to win. In the event of a tie, you will lose. Follow the on-screen guide and press the correspondent uh, uh, buttons at the right moment to perform squats. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so as we... As the time ticks down the the guide is going to go away 
Oh shit, okay. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's Boom. Surprised he did eight. We beat him by twenty, bruh. How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid? You just didn't press buttons the way I did, dude. Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your own. You know what? I got a little bit of Ronnie in me. I know that sounded weird, and I didn't think about what I was saying before I said it, but that's how I felt about Cloud when I first saw him. I was like, mm, muscles, doesn't look like a hero to me. And look at that. I just got Ronnie. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain the only squats were pressing buttons. <laughs> I know I'd be in such great shape. Should probably go see Sam again. If you're ever in the mood for another workout, just talk to Jay. You want to go, do ya? All right then, bring it on. Um, yeah, it's challenge Jay. You can back out if you're scared. Same buttons? Oh shit. Dang! This guy's kicking my ass! One, two, three. Damn. That's what it is. You can actually go too fast. I didn't know that. Because um, it wasn't that way with uh, the other guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, okay, so I got a rhythm down now. So I didn't know, because last time I, I, I didn't feel like I was going, like I was going pretty fast. Um, come on, is that all you got? Let me see your fire. Yeah, let's try again. Together, get swole together. Bringing everything I've got. Yeah, no, you kicked my butt last time, dude. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, that's not right. Come on, game, you know that's bullshit, too. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Yes! All right. I wasn't sure. I thought he got 28 and I had 28. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, he's tough. You did it. You really beat me. You gotta be in incredible shape. <laughs> it's unfair that... What do you say? May I have this squad? Oh, shoot. Pro difficulty unlocked. I don't know. Well, let's try it one time. I feel like Jules gonna kick our ass up. All right, I gotta set the controller down. I'm not warmed up. One, two. Oh dang! Look at that already. Shit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh come on! Too soon, son of a bitch. One, two, three, four. I believe in you. Poetry in motion. You're better than I thought. You are Damn it. Yeah. So see, J Jules can speed up. That's not fair. So I can speed up too as I get the rhythm down. Okay, but I just I still gotta follow a, a pattern. Yeah. Okay. Damn, Jules is Jules is tough, man. Jules can get 42. Damn. 42. You gotta loosen up. You're way too dead. Oh, you're right. Let's you and me work up a sweat. Okay, let's have some fun. <clears throat> you're better than I thought. You are in the zone. I believe in you. Who'd have thought to get this close? You're Damn it. Damn it. She's going to catch up. Dang it! I keep that X. I keep hitting it too soon. That is not cool. Damn it.
where's our other... Gotta go talk to Sam. Everybody's here pretty nice <laughs> for the most Ready part. For jobs? <laughs> Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> just get you got to out squat every dude, bro, here. Uh, just the just the two and Jules. Um, just those three, I think. And Jules was definitely the, the pro. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat Jules, I think. I. Uh, I'm not very coordinated. Um, yeah, she she crushed me, man. Um, all right. Let's see. Parting ways. A dynamite body. Is that in the battle arena? I think it is. That sword's pretty awesome. Thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. Alright. I was gonna do the free matches, but I'm like, yeah, those will still be there. Um let's get this special match over with. Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring. Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may I gotta say, those things look great. <laughs> they look really cool. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! <laughs> Wow, that was a good move. The reigning champ does it again. Two moves killed him. That was awesome. Was we did the cross slash and we did the other uh, infinity fans? end. Sam. Nice 
it's going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Our king's up there. Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape. And boy, does it show. Jeez, dude. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to her rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long, and she might just blow up in your face. Uh, she's not gonna blow up, sadly. She's gonna... something else, though. Hey! Been waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight? Cloud versus wild animals. Let's do it. Begin challenge. Not bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stagger anything in these fights. They're, uh, they go down too easily. That's the whole reason I signed up for this was the stagger. Uh, well, we need to stagger one more enemy. Oh, it's the two dogs. The hellhounds. Yeah, these things are tough. There we go. Oh, but I've stabbed these before, I think. So this ain't gonna count. Poison for long. Sweet. Last fight. Oh, oh. 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 Did we stagger one of these over there? Yeah, we did. I think in the underground tunnels we did. Was never in doubt. Level two limit breaks are more powerful. You've obtained a legacy from which you have learned a level two limit break. Go to limit break in battle settings to select the limit breaks you want to use in battle. Okay. I guess we can play it on normal. See how tough normal is. Let's go. Hey. 
Dang it. That's what I was trying to avoid. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Damn, normal mode, huh? Dang! Dude, this is not cool! Dang it! God dang it! Dude, I'm gonna die on the second round. Look at that. Oh my god, these guys. Cheap motherfuckers. <laughs> they just go from stunning me to jumping on me. Yeah, the bubbles just stun me. Alright, well, I'm dead. Yeah, no kidding. That's a, That was embarrassing. So that's how easy this game has been for us? <laughs> Um, so this time we're going to stay away from them. We're going to cast spells on the blowfish thing. We're just going to avoid the, the creatures. Dang it! <laughs> Please tell me I killed the bubble dude. I did kill the bubble guy, okay. So we're gonna keep our distance from them. No escape. Nice! Let's go. Okay. So no button mashing. See, try to have some strategy for crying out loud. So that thing can poison me, on, poison me on the left, so we gotta be smart about these guys, too. Mashing is my only strategy. Well, it, sometimes it works, actually. Uh, and it was working on for us when we were on easy mode. But now that we're on normal mode, um, I can't believe how cheap those uh, enemies were in that second round. That was something else.
Cool, normal mode. We got high potions, antidotes, phoenix downs. Sweet. What's classic mode? I kind of feel like doing it now just because. Oh. So classic is still kind of easy mode, but just with slightly different controls. Oh, I ain't falling for this shit. Oh, boom! Boom, you fucking blowfish. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> dumb, dumb, da dumb, dumb. This is how we die, see? It looks like my episode finally finished rendering, uh, so I will be posting that here after we finish this playthrough. Like, uh, I think after we do this, we'll probably um, we'll probably turn the game off here in about 10-15 minutes. I'm gonna finish this battle and then just basically uh, get us ready to go pick up Tifa. I mean, uh, oh my god, how, oh Jesus, god, thank god I'm not, like, dating two people in real life, because, uh, <laughs> I would be getting their names wrong all the time. That's, it's, um, it's embarrassing. And awful. Uh, er, I know we gotta go get Tifa from the Corneo's place, but we gotta go pick up Larry first, who has the dress. Let's go. Gotta help put up groceries back soon, no problem. We'll probably be ending, like I said, in about ten minutes, though. Uh, Sid, now that we've done all the side quests of this area, um, we're just going to go back and, you know, get Aerith and then call it, a, call it a day for now. We'll come back and play tonight, though, because um, now I'm really, I'm really locked into the story. Pickles. Uh, welcome. Pants are none. Welcome. Pants are not mandatory to watch my stream. They're not even mandatory for me while I stream. Um, I love the hesitation reading that. <laughs> I was making sure I got the wording right because there's that skip where it says, I'm we airing no pants. And I was like, so yeah, the hesitation was mostly me making sure I said what you were typing. <laughs> um, Come back right. anytime you want to fight. Yeah, I'm good. 
Oh, uh, how's it going? We're good, man. We're good. Just, uh... Just getting to a stopping point, actually. Because uh, I gotta go upload my... Finally, my episode 500 of Venom Vlog finished rendering. Uh, I rendered... I, I started a render last night, and it came out fine, but then when I rewatched it, I noticed there was a couple errors. And the worst part is there was... There's still a couple errors. There's still, like, two digital code errors that I, um forgot to fix and I'm just like you know what whatever uh, luckily I address it in the video so it's not the end of the world um, but I'm gonna post that I'm gonna stop uh, this and then uh, run my Ethernet cable from my PlayStation I'm gonna unplug it put it into the computer so that'll hopefully help uh, the video upload faster so yeah I will be taking a, a break so yeah I'll get that video up it's a 40 minute Venom vlog episode and I hope Jim. people enjoy it. You know what to do. Take the elevator and head on down. Right. So, uh, cleared all the, yeah. That party never stops one. That sucked. All that running around we had to do. But yeah, this is good. We got everything cleared. Um, we are still missing. We need one enemy we gotta stagger. That's unreal, man. I'm sure we'll come across whatever that type of enemy is inside the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, Corneo's place, but let's just make sure there's nothing out around here we can fight. This area's gotta be used for something later, right? I feel like We're gonna have to get a key to that at some point. But yeah, there's there's gotta be some use for this place. At some point. Not right now though. Wind materia is almost leveled up. Ice materia. Hey, stupid unicycle, welcome back, welcome back. Um, Efrid is maxed out. And we're back. Hey, and Sid's here too, nice. Um, Alright, so we'll go and we'll get Aerith and we'll, we'll, you know, activate whatever cutscene and scene that is, and then we'll proceed to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stop after that. But we'll, that'll be where we begin the next episode, is us going in to, uh, you know, rescue uh, Tifa. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information from my Anything else I can do? Didn't this guy have like a faulty wire? Huh? What's that? Not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. What if Carnage could harness the infinity stones? We'd all be dead. Uh not that Thanos isn't a crazy being as well, but there's some level of control with him to an extent. Uh, yeah, no, that's not good if Carnage had it. Although I wonder, wouldn't would the would the Infinity Stone Gauntlet just rip him apart though? Like, I don't know. I guess if Iron Man can handle it in the movies, I guess Carnage could be fine in the comics. Plus, he has the safety of the symbiote. But I don't know. Good question.
What? Oh, here comes Johnny. Uh, finally! Uh, uh, Tifa! She... I... Tifa! <laughs> she, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Oh, he's gonna audition new girls. That means... I'll come too. What, they'll execute Tifa? Tifa? Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said, <laughs> the way you fight, bro, Stop is calling like me, bro. poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. Are My you leading me to a trap, Johnny? And overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? Uh, no, I don't. Not your bro, bro. <laughs> uh, Lord well, Pickle says, what if he had the me. infinity gauntlet? Crazy, we think but, Carnage uh, is crazy. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Wait, he brought us over yes, here sir. to go rescue Tifa and then he's not going to do it? What a gentleman. Um, but... We're, I, like I said, we're saving the Tifa stuff for the next episode because I feel like it's going to lead us to the, you know, the, the, the scene where Cloud dresses up in drag. I feel because this is, I feel like this was in the original game too, this area. So, um, we'll save for the next episode. All right. Look at that. 16 and a half hours of this game we played and we're not even done with chapter nine, which chapter nine, I think once you finish it is the halfway point. I've drawn him with the power stone in his head, the space stone in his left hand, reality in his right hand, time in his left foot, soul in his... Oh, Jesus. Well, I think that sentence is too long. It cuts you off, but, um, but I, I, got the, I got what you were saying. Uh, that's crazy. That would make Cletus a glove. It'd be interesting for him to use the symbiote to make a gauntlet out of, too. If it's not too late, I'll be here. Yeah, no problem. I'll, um, I probably won't play too, too late. I want to go upload this episode... And then I got to start editing um, a Superman podcast that was supposed to go up yesterday along with this episode because the whole plan was to get those both up yesterday and then just play video games today. But since that didn't happen, um, I'm going to go do that. And then while that, while the, while this is uploading and while I'm, uh, after I finish editing the podcast, I'm going to work on my book for a couple hours. So, um, yeah, if I come back on here, it'll probably be in like around nine or 10 o'clock. So... Hopefully that's not too late for you. And that's if I do it. So keep an eye on my Instagram uh, or on your Instagram. I'll message you if I go live uh, or I'll post on Instagram that I'm going live. But uh, who knows? This may be all we get in today. And that's fine because if I can get a lot of my book done today and those two episodes up, that means tomorrow we can sit around and play this game. So, uh, so maybe we'll just save it all for tomorrow. So thank you guys very much. I will see you all in the future. Thanks for po popping in, Stupid Unicycle. Uh, Sid, everyone, uh, that Venom Vlog episode will go up in about... An hour and a half, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. It'll depend on how long it takes to upload. Hopefully not too long, but it is like a 40 to 45 minute episode. So it might take a while for YouTube to upload it, but I'll get it up as soon as possible. And I hope you guys enjoy it when it goes up. I'll see you later. Peace.